Being able to receive constructive feedback is critical to a rising career. As a talent management expert, I know you can't get to the top without the ability to hear and respond to the reactions of others. But even more importantly, success requires being skilled at giving feedback. It's a fundamental part of your job as a manager to provide feedback to those who report to you. Effective feedback is the key to greater results. Lower turnover, higher engagement, increased productivity, and profitability. But if giving feedback is such a direct link to improve performance, why do so many of us squirm at the idea of it? Just hearing the sentence, I'd like to give you some feedback, sends chills down our spines. We've built up a lot of angst around that word. The angst stems from an outdated view of feedback. In a hierarchical world, feedback centered on judging or assessing. But the most important component of giving feedback today is teaching, sharing guidance and advice on how to be more effective. Constructive tips are really valuable and the entire process gets a lot more comfortable as soon as we think of it that way. The most successful feedback presents new challenges and inspires employees to learn and grow, just as a good teacher inspires a student. It leaves employees confident about what they're doing well and aware of specific ways to improve. Becoming skilled at providing this type of feedback creates a work environment in which employees will tackle new challenges with enthusiasm, knowing that you are available to coach along the way. Feedback is not something that should be left to an annual performance review. It's too important. Think of it as an ongoing conversation, part of a partnership with your employees. It's your opportunity to help your employees improve their performance and consequently improve your own performance as a manager. Think like a teacher. Does a teacher teach every day? Yes, absolutely. As a manager, you should too.